banking profitability in the second quarter in the United States, who would have thought, has been, uh, US banks have never been more profitable than in the second quarter of this year. 43.6 billion was their profit in the second quarter, which was 1.4% above the expectations of Standard & Poor's who have came out with those numbers. Actually, there is no zero rate interest rate problem in the United States. It seems banking's, uh, or the banking sector has adapted to that environment, which is uh, quite interesting because investors are not quite um, f happy with banking stocks the KBW Nasdaq banking index is 4% below its year to, uh, below the start of the year and so well let's see if banking uh, if the banks could catch up until the year end in germany commerzbank and deutsche bank there were rumors about a merger between the two um, largest banks in germany but deutsche bank actually said that there is nothing nothing of substance on those uh, rumors. Actually, Manager Magazine has uh, reported um, with referral to internal circles in the Deutsche Bank that the Deutsche Bank is actually thinking about merging with the Commerzbank. After they came out with their article, Deutsche Bank came out to the press and said, okay, there's nothing, uh, we're not thinking about a merger. But if you look at Commerzbank stock yesterday, it rose by over 4% and held those gains until the close and so investors might be inclined to think that this is really something that could actually happen. The ECB yesterday came out with a uh, study um, talking about the zero rate problem that banks have with their original business which, which is lending money to companies and private uh, individuals. Um, if the rates are at zero, there is no money to be made and the ECB somehow um, recognized that and yeah, recognized that this is really a problem which they didn't do just some months ago. The reaction is of the ECB that they said, okay, we need economic growth now. We're not altering our monetary policy path. We know that next year um, the QA program will run out. So everybody will wait until next Thursday to get more hints about, um, about the QE program. Will it, be, um, will it be increased in time length until the end of next year, until the end of 2018? There are a lot of speculations out there. Mario Draghi hasn't been uh, in a public speech since months now. It will be his first appearance before the press next week on Thursday when the ECB meets again. So um, another big topic was the price of oil, which uh, has gone down by four, over 4% 4 yesterday after distilled stocks in the United States. The inventories went up by a stunning 3 million barrels. It was expected that only a quarter million build was in distillates. 275,000 barrels was expected, plus 3 million barrels really came in. And that is somewhat of a dampener for uh, the sentiment there in the oil markets because we just had some weeks ago we had those large gasoline stocks which went up to a multi-year high so everybody is asking how long will it take until the gasoline stocks will be normalized and now we have the same situation with the um, distillate stocks um, which is diesel primarily and heating oil uh, and heavy oil that is distillate stocks they went up by 3 million barrels so that really was a bad news for the oil markets yesterday. Um, but it was also a typical day for range binaries. Um, when you trade range binaries, actually, you could have made a trade to sell a range binary in the morning of that um, inventory data day in WTI. And you would bet that um, a WTI would really spike to one or the other direction, so up or down. You don't need to know actually in which direction uh, those range by uh, the WTI price will go. You only need to know that there is a high potential. You must expect that there is a big spike in volatility in WTI. And then a range binary says, okay, you can make money if, it, if the price of WTI, for example, leaves the range and closes outside the range. Uh, and you will not make money if it stays within 
the predefined range. So that is a perfect uh, example where range binaries would have been really interesting. Another data point will come out tomorrow and those are the official NFP numbers, non-farm payrolls out of the United States, so job market data um, next uh, on Friday um, afternoon, so tomorrow. That will be a big major news point and data point, economic data release point uh, for euro dollar, for dollar yen and the equities markets.